Hello Capricorns, how are you all doing? <laughs> I've been doing well, I hope we're doing fine. Okay, so Capricorns, while I was doing some shuffling for you guys, I heard a song saying, Say my name, say my name, when no one is around you, say baby I love you, what a sudden shame, say my name, say my name. Okay. <laughs> shady around you maybe a person's acting shady around you i don't know maybe they're hiding something from you it may not be an affair but it could be something they're hiding from you something about someone's name maybe i don't know maybe somebody's listening to that song i don't know but let's start off with getting some messages for capricorn sun moon rising and venus okay Surrender. Why can I never say this word? But it's a four-leaf clover, right? So this is bringing you a lot of good luck. Okay. Ascending to a high level. In a field of abundance. Nice. Something come to completion. Love it. Money, money, money. Money. I don't know why I had the urge to sing that. <clears throat> why somebody could be questioning things somebody could be learning more knowledge here about something somebody could be studying about something here questioning situations okay somebody's curiosity has sparked okay somebody's regrounding themselves love it let's see what messages we've got from spirit <clears throat> money 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 Excuse me, I have a sore throat all of a sudden. All right, Capricorns, please. We have listen. <laughs> listen. Okay, so you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not just to what is being said, but to what lies beneath the words. So there is definitely something deeper to the situation. So if you're asking why, listen. You will get the answer. Okay, some of you all are really talking a lot. Okay, that's Virgo's job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to grab a bottle of water because I'm thirsty. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. How is a reader supposed to read with a sore throat? Okay. Under these difficult circumstances. <laughs> Alright. Virgo, I mean Capricorn. 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 Okay, Capricorn. Let's get a current energy. Hanged man. Horus energy. What's crossing it? What's blocking it? The hermit Virgo energy. That's probably why I said Virgo. Okay. Where are you going? Something needs cleansing here. Spirit says something needs cleansing. You guys really need to cleanse yourself, okay? Your energy, your aura, okay? You really need to come into your powers, okay? You need to cleanse yourself. That nearly fell in the water, okay? There's something here about your emotions. What is crying in the situation? King of Pentacles, that's yourself, but right now, it kind of came out in reverse, and I don't take reversals, but I mean, if it was a reversal, it would mean that somebody here is um, very irresponsible, somebody gets angry very easily, this person is really hot-headed, this person is not very stable, this person is financially at a big loss, or somebody here is being a miser, okay, but because I'm not taking it up um, in reverse, but we'll consider it, okay, now, when I say miser, this could be another earth energy that you're dealing with, so it doesn't have to be you, okay, just saying. Right. Tell me about the recent past. 
Cards just want to fly out. All right, anyone? What is keeping Capricorn going? That's too much. Come on. That is too much. I'm not even taking that. What are you doing? Spirit. One card, please. What is keeping Capricorns going? Whoa! <laughs> Spirit's like, how dare you? <laughs> All right, you want one card? I'll give you one card. <laughs> All right, five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Good humor, huh? All right. <laughs> and the near future, please. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, ten of wands in reverse. Oh, Spirit said, "Keep it like that." Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. <laughs> All right. Hmm. How does Capricorn feel within themselves? We have the Eight of Swords, but it came out in reverse. <laughs> Spirit's like, turn it around, turn it around. Okay, fine, I'll turn it around. All right. The person that you do with or the external environment. Wow, Capricorn. I feel like whatever spirits come in is being quite stubborn. You guys may be being quite stubborn. King of Swords. Ooh, five swords again. Your heads any fears? Whoa. Nine of Wands. And you guys really need to cleanse your energy. I feel like somebody's throwing some shit at you guys, okay? The overall outcome. The overall outcome. Ace of Cups. That one came out again. The Justice card is the overall energy for this reading. All right. So basically right now what you guys are doing is currently looking at the situation, observing the situation, but you're also having a lot of patience in regards to a situation that you're trying to see from a different perspective or a different outlook, okay? But if you guys are just kind of in suspension in limbo at the moment, okay, about which way to go, um, or what decision to make, what is blocking this energy is you going introspective, okay, within yourself, okay, to get some guidance. So really, well, I feel like you guys are kind of in the beginning of your transformation, okay that is what i'm feeling here like you're in the beginning of a transformation where you go introspective and you kind of like okay let's test the waters a bit you know let's kind of see what happens all right and then your guides are kind of giving you advice and they're pushing you to listen but you haven't been listening is also what i'm getting from this listen <laughs> okay Listen, keep quiet in your mind down. Go to a quiet place, quiet your mind down because you're getting messages. Listen to them. In the recent past, there may have been some kind of act under travel or communication that took place here. Maybe you traveled towards a certain person or towards a certain place and then that's when communication kind of took place. All right. This came out in reverse, but I took it up right. A spirit decided to turn it around, but like I said, I will consider it. So there could be here another earth energy that you're dealing with right now, okay? But maybe there's something here about holding back, okay, your finances and not telling people how it really is. I also feel like this is about you needing to lie in order to save your investments. Maybe there's somebody here that's trying to take from you, but you're kind of like, no. Um, this could be ego as well, talking here a bit. Capricorns, you probably won't like me saying that, but there is a, such a thing as the ego, okay? And everybody has it. That's okay, as long as you're not misusing that, you know? Um, in the... in As you keep going, you are going to feel kind of financially depleted. I do feel like that. But I also feel like if you're dealing with somebody else, they may be asking you for money. They may be kind of saying to you, okay, I don't have enough financial money. Can I please borrow some? And you may be like, kind of, no. Your stresses are ending, your tensions are ending, the hard work has paid off is what I'm getting with this card, okay? So yeah, any kind of hard work that you've done, you've paid off. If you're feeling trapped in a situation, you're coming out of that, you're definitely seeing the light, okay? You're seeing the truth of the matter towards this person, okay? You're seeing more clarity around this person that you're dealing with. Maybe this person's coming in to speak the truth to you, okay? But be on your, like, be very kind of like free in your mind, okay? Keep your mind very open in regards to this person. Listen to the words that they're saying, you know, kind of, Try to see if there's any hidden meaning behind whatever it is they're trying to say. I don't know why I feel like I need to tell you that. Okay. The nine of wands. Okay. Again. 
um, is is kind of like I don't want this person to hurt me again. I don't want this person to screw me over again. All right, I've only just kind of rebuilt myself. I've just kind of mended my heart, okay, and I've healed myself. I don't want this person to come in and and hurt me again. I need to walk away, okay, again, and me having to put my guard up. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are kind of being very resilient towards this person, and you have got your kind of guard up towards this person because maybe they have hurt you in the past, and that's why you kind of like, okay, we'll see, we'll see, um, right? Um. The Ace of Cups, there could be a new look coming in or a rekindled love connection in the overall outcome. Something that's going to come in that's going to give you a lot of good news emotionally. There is going to be some kind of um, legal situation as well in the overall energy that you may be dealing with right now. So maybe there is a divorce or such. Maybe there's some kind of like contracts here that you need to sign in regards to finances. Um, maybe there's just, you know, generally a karmic justice coming in. Let's go ahead and clarify it, okay? Um, and see what's going on for a lot of you guys. Clarify the screen, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And tell me about the handman, please. Okay, I don't know why, but I keep hearing that song, Shake It Out West. So some of you guys could be heading west. Maybe this person's coming from the west side. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm getting to shake it out west. I'm hearing all these songs. <laughs> all right. Some of you guys might be even hearing that right now as you're listening to this reading. Yeah, I feel like there is somebody here who left you out in the cold financially. Or maybe some of you guys are feeling financially depleted. And that's why you're kind of like hanging in there and coming up with ideas about what to do in order to help you help you become more successful and as you move along you may find that you are seeing obstacles coming along there could be a lot of competition a lot of people fighting for the same thing okay but again i don't feel like that's worrying you too much but you are trying to plan is what i'm getting okay so you're kind of like planning ahead in the situation which is really good i love that tell me about maybe you feel like okay as well if this is about a relationship by the way okay maybe you're watching this person but I feel like you're moving ahead successfully and away from this situation that's left you out in the cold. So maybe this person's left you out in the cold. Hi, and right, okay, is what I'm getting from this. But again, um, as you move forward successfully, I feel like there's going to be a lot of drama around you. Of course, there's always drama around successful people. That's just very normal. The minute you hit success, that's it. There's drama. <laughs> wow, okay. It's like the minute Capricorn rises, people are like, hey, Capricorn, can I borrow money from you? Hey, Capricorn. I see you doing well. Do you mind getting with me? <laughs> you know, I don't know why I feel like there's these kind of energies coming through like that, but you're going to be kind of like withdrawing yourself uh, from all of this drama. You're looking for the best route forward is what I'm also getting. How about the hermit? Yeah, you're thinking, I feel like you're planning. You're planning on how to overcome these obstacles, these situations, and you kind of are getting a little bit frustrated, but I feel like you are going to stand your ground in regards to this situation. You're going to get some mental clarity. It's about kind of going back to the drawing board, okay, and working on a situation. Now, I feel like if you're dealing with a person who left you out in the cold, you definitely are blocking this person out. And this person is watching you, they're spying on you. They could be watching your social media as well, getting information from friends if you're on the same friend circle group. Did I speak too fast there? What the hell? Um, but yeah, I feel like this person really wants to work on this connection again. And you're kind of like, I'm done with it. Okay. And this person was like, okay, well, you know what? Tick for tack. But this person is definitely watching you. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, the recent past. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I need some auto tune here, Capricorn. <laughs> attitude all right okay <laughs> i feel like there was a, a little bit of a lucky situation in the recent past when things were just going really really well maybe you were traveling as well i feel like you had to travel to go towards places mm, there could have been something here about you working on getting back to normal with family members even so if you've had a conflict or a falling out maybe this was about communicating with them and speaking to them and you know setting things right with your family members i also feel like if you have a family with this person you felt like you could have had this ten of cups with this person <coughs> mm. 
Hmm. Talking about the, the king of pentacles. Yeah, there's something here about you keeping things to yourself. And I feel like you're blocking this person out. You definitely are not telling this person your plans, your, you know, what you're doing. You're keeping things very much in the low. You're trying to keep things very much hidden from this person. Or maybe you feel like this person's hiding something from you and holding back. Yeah, I feel like if there's any kind of communication here when it comes to businesses as well and things like this, you've been kind of hurt in the past and I feel like this person here has definitely kind of been toxic towards you in the situation and fed you a lot of shit. So it's kind of like, okay, now in order for me to become successful and do what I need to do, I need to hold back and withdraw and withhold information from this person. I can't be honest with this person now. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. <sighs> I'm hearing I treated you like a queen. Oh no. I feel like this was a very deep connection that you gave your all to and in the end I feel like this person just took 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 and emotionally as well as financially took from you and now you're kind of like reflecting back and thinking about your own needs here I don't see balance here that's the thing even though I see two cards here that show balance the two cups and the six of pentacles I don't see balance here I don't. I feel like you're just trying to work on yourself and your own needs. Let's see what this Ten of Wands is in reverse. There was a flip card and I can't find it. There it is. It's Soulmate card. I feel no, it's Judgment. Don't know why I saw the Soulmate card. Okay, so having got the Ten of Wands. Having got the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands in reverse. Oh, the strength of the hermit. That shit keeps coming up for everyone. That's three major arcanas in the near future that's kind of coming to an ending. Yeah, I feel like something is coming to a close. There's some kind of change in stability. There's some kind of change in perhaps even location. There's some kind of awakening that's happening that's going to make you realise what's happened. That's going to make you... I feel like you're going to come... A lot of you guys are going to go through an enlightenment that's going to give you a lot of strength. But these changes, you're going to have to have a lot of resilience towards. And you're going to have to be very strong to deal with these changes. And you will kind of go in hermit mode for a while. And you are going to go introspective. Maybe you're going to kind of close off towards people. And people are going to be like, oh my god, what's happened? Maybe you're going to take a break from work as well. That's what I'm getting because of these changes. And I feel like that tower there is telling you to be prepared for it because whatever these changes are, some of them may not be too good and you're going to need to cleanse yourself. There is something here about cleansing your energy. I feel like... I'm seeing a face in this which I've never seen before in my life, but it's like a boy wearing a cap. What? I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there, I've never seen that before. I probably can't see it, but right there, I can see a, a face. And the spirit was literally like, look closer. And I'm looking closer. I'm like, wow, okay, I see a face. 
It's like a boy with a cap. Wow, okay. That face is very clear and visible. Wow. Okay, um... Let's see what this Eight of Swords in Reverse is about. Okay, so you got the hand of the fool and the two of wands. Yeah, you're definitely freeing yourself, but again, you're kind of in limbo and about whether you should take a risk towards something or not because you're seeing things from a different situation. You're like, is it worth risking something here? There's an interruption here between you planning, going through a change and then coming back out into the planning phase again. But you will start a new beginning. I do feel that. Hello. Hello. Do you want to talk to me? <laughs> oh my. Okay. Hardly having that many cards now. How about this King of Swords? It looks like your person definitely has a lot to say about the situation. How about the King of Swords? The Lovers, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person's not willing to kind of be open about their emotions here towards you. Because I feel like they think you're not going to listen. Because you didn't listen in the past. This person's like, I'm willing to tell you the truth this time around. But you're not willing to listen. And I feel like you're just kind of turning the other way from this connection. You're kind of like, listen, I don't give a shit about this soulmate connection or whatever you want to call this. Um, what we had, that is. I just want you to talk to me and tell me the truth. And this person's like, no. Look, what I'm seeing here is, let me show you. Okay, let me show you. So you're turning away from this connection and you're kind of like, whatever, I don't want to hear it. But I do want you to express your feelings to me and tell me the truth. And this person's like, no. No, I don't want to. I'm done talking. Tell me about the nine of wands. What is going on? I'm not taking that many cards. Wow, I feel like the whole thing's about to slip out of my hand. Some of the Nine of Wands. The Magician, the Four Swords, and the Death. Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting something here. You're manifesting an ending of some sort, but I feel like your fear is that you're blocking this manifestation yourself with your own fears. But I also feel like your hopes is to heal a situation or heal yourself and move on from this situation and come out of it, okay? Remember the Eight of Cups? I'm not sure what those are about because fears have multiple emotions. Yeah, there is a new passionate relationship. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. This could be a rekindled situation, but I don't feel like it's a past person. I feel like it's someone new. Because the past person has already hurt you now. But I feel like here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of... No, Ace of Cups twice and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, Ace of Wands, I don't know why I'm saying that. Ace of Wands. With the queen of wands you're ready for new love you're like definitely open to it and i feel like somebody's coming in and spark sparking this passion inside of you like this person's definitely sparking passion inside of you that's crazy wow so capricorns is not all that bad is it you know what i mean so shake it out west shake it out west <laughs> maybe this person's coming from the west i don't know but shake it out west all right, let's see. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, the old Sagittarius. What else are they dealing with? You could be dealing with a Taurus. Or they have Venus in the chart somewhere. This could be you as well. It could be the new person, mind you, as well. Sagittarius again with the Jupiter and you have Uranus with the Aquarius. I also forgot to clarify this justice card, so let me quickly do that. 
Tell me about the justice card. Yeah, I feel like you're taking in charge of your life and you're getting back into control of stuff. I feel like there could be a marriage here that you're trying to end legally, okay? Or some kind of legal situation that's going to lead to a painful ending for someone here. All right. So that's all I have for you guys, all right? Don't forget to heed Spirit's advice and listen to the messages, okay? Because there is definitely a lot of luck coming in for you guys. On that note, I'm going to leave you guys with a lot of love and a lot of light. And I'm going to be praying for you guys. Blessings, beautiful souls. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.